Today uh, we are going to educate the common man regarding how we do a total knee replacement that is replace a damaged knee joint. We have just finished one of the cases here so I just want to brief through the process of how you approach a patient for knee replacement and how you go about the surgery. So basically the patient is uh, evaluated for any, any diseases like any medical conditions like diabetes, sugar, blood pressure. So all, all these conditions are considered when you are considering the patient for a total knee replacement or any other joint replacement. So the patient will be initially seen by the concerned department like the cardiologist, physician. If at all the patient has any dental problem like dentures, the patient will be seen by the dentist cleaning will be done, patient will be screened for any source of infection in the body like dental infections, urine infections, patient will be screened for all those things and once a patient is fit for surgery, the patient will be given a date and ad admitted at least one day prior to the surgery. So once the patient is in the theatre, patient is again evaluated for all the parameters like BP, blood pressure and all the things once again and patient is induced for surgery by the anaesthetic team. So once the surgery anesthesia is done, like the local anesthesia, for, for like the, only the limb which we are doing the surgery is being prepared for anesthesia. And the patient will be wide awake during the surgery and we can communicate with the patient during the surgery. And if at all the patient is a little apprehensive, we can make the patient a little sleep, sleepy by giving uh, sedations. So this is what the anesthetic and the before the surgery, uh, what we do for the patient. So once we start off with the surgery, all the limb is prepared under sterile precautions and it's taken up under a sterile theatre with a different sort of airflow called the laminar airflow where you want the air to be purified uh, in a very different manner. So it's actually a different theatre, it's not in the regular theatre where we take the patient for a knee replacement or any other joint replacements. So once the surgery is done, we put the incision on the skin and the joint is opened and uh, we see that all the damaged tissues uh, are removed this is how the, da the joints will be totally deranged in the case of a severe arthritis and this is all cleared and the joint is prepared for taking uh, the implant prepared means uh, the joint few uh, cuts are made in the joint few cuts are made in the bone where you prepare the bone for taking the defined shape of the implant so once the uh, joint is ready for implantation we again check all the alignments, we correct the deformity, whether the joint is in a varus deformity where it's bent inside or it's bent outside. Whichever the deformity is, we correct the deformity by, by the uh, bone alignment cuts and all the soft tissue releases. And once everything is ready, the patient is finally informed that we are going to get the implants in the patient and the anesthetic team is once again ready so that we use a special type of cement called the PMMA, polymethyl meth acrylate to fix the implant to the bone. So that implant, that, that's the final stage of the surgery which takes around 10 minutes of uh, final preparation. And once everything is ready, we go ahead with the final procedure. We open the sterile implants, we prepare the wash again, the, wash the joints again and we go in with the cementation procedure. And once the joint is uh, fully implanted, we wait for 10 to 15 minutes for the cement to set so that the whole joint is totally cemented into the bone. So once this is done, the joint is washed again, closed in layers and the patient is brought out of the theatre. So that's how the surgery goes and what we do after the surgery, the patient will be in the ICU, preferably in the ICU for one day to monitor all the vital parameters like BP, blood pressure and if at all you want a, a blood transfusion to be done, you go ahead with that and uh, usually blood transfusion is needed when you do both knees together in a single patient. So, so we monitor the patient, once the patient is ready for transfer out from the uh, ICU, the patient is transferred to the room the next day and this patient is mobilized the next day itself with the support of a walker or any sort of uh, walking aids. So patient will be walking the next day with all, uh, all the medicines and uh, the supports and patient should feel uh, that he can walk the next day. So the physiotherapy, gradual physiotherapy started from the post of day one and by five days the patient will be confident enough to walk on his own or her own with a minimal walking support and usually the patient is discharged on the fifth day and called back after a week or 10 days for the suture removal. So this is how it goes. So basically we have a common doubt that whether the success of the surgery is uh, appreciable or not. So this is one of the surgeries where we can give almost 100% guarantee or 100% uh, 
success rate for the surgeries because it has been under uh, evaluation and it has progressed over the decades for the last 60 years and now it is in the most state of the art procedure what we are doing in orthopedics. So this is basically the brief about a joint replacement, knee replacement and we will be shortly coming about with other joint replacement surgeries like the hip, the elbow and the shoulder. Thank you so much for watching.